In this video, we'll be talking about chromosomal translocation. Chromosomal translocation is one type of chromosomal abnormality which occurs when segment of one chromosome breaks off and become attached to another segment of the chromosome. So it's a swap between two chromosomal region, maybe between two non-homologous chromosome. Chromosomal translocation can be of broadly two categories, reciprocal translocation and Robertsonian translocation. Swapping happens in reciprocal translocation. That means uh, the segment of two chromosomes get exchanged with each other. And this is called reciprocal translocation. In Robertsonian translocation, I mean, there is fusion between two acrocentric chromosomes. So there is a breakage and there is a rejoining that you can see in this particular diagram. Now let's talk about the reciprocal translocation in a bit more details. There are two subcategories of reciprocal translocation, balanced and unbalanced. In balanced, no net gain of genetic material or loss of genetic material takes place. So that is why it's balanced. In unbalanced, a portion of the chromosome might be lost or maybe duplicated. So there is a change in the overall genetic content. So we would take more examples to understand these basic formulas in details. Each of these kind of uh, translocations are associated with many disease pathology. So let's talk about that. One of the great example of uh, translocation, balanced translocation is basically uh, coming from Philadelphia chromosome, which is the underlying pathology of CML. So in this case, the uh, translocation happens between chromosome number 9 and 22. So you can see the segment exchange happen and the BCR ABL fusion gene is produced. Generally, ABL produce a ABL kinase, which is regulator of cell division and cell proliferation. When more and more B ABL kinase is produced and these kinases are active in an over uh, uh, under, uh, I mean, unregulated fashion that lead to over proliferation of immature uh, white blood cells that lead to leukemia. So this is the common pathology. Generally, hematopoietic stem cells give rise to leukocytes, the mature white blood cells. But immature leukocyte is produced when this kind of translocation happens because too much ABL kinase is a key driver of these uncontrolled proliferation. So overall, we can understand this 9 to chromosome 22 translocation is the key pathology of chronic myelogenous leukemia. There is other kind of uh, cancers such as Burkitt's lymphoma, where there is a uh, translocation happens between chromosome number 8 and 14. So the genes which are involved here are Ig heavy chain and semic gene. So basically, Ig heavy chain is present in the chromosome number 14, semic is present in the chromosome number eight and after the segment exchange the semic gene comes in the near proximity of ig heavy chain now imagine a b cell any lymphocyte would have a constitutive activation of these ig promoters right because they have to produce immunoglobulins that is why semic is produced in a massive amount much more than it uh, normally should be produced so too much of semic actually can regulate several uh, genetic changes. Basically, it can activate genes which are responsible for growth, survival and proliferation and all happens in an uncoordinated fashion which give rise to too much proliferation of the lymphocytes that lead to the Burkitt's lymphoma. Now, this is a common recurrent theme. Think about chromosome 14 where Ig heavy chain gene is there. Now, due to translocation, many of the genes can come in the near vicinity of the heavy chain of Ig gene. So basically, it happens uh, with chromosome 3, where BCL6 come in proximity of the Ig heavy chain. And this is the key pathology of diffuse large B cell lymphoma. We talked about chromosome 8. That was the underlying feature of Burkitt's lymphoma, where CMIC comes in proximity of IgH. Then there is basically mantle cell lymphoma where the cyclin D1, a key driver for cell cycle, comes near in the near vicinity of IgH. So it's overproduced, overactivated, lead to uncontrolled proliferation. Similar thing happens in chromosome 18 where BCL2 gene can actually come in near proximity to IgH due to the translocation. 
and this is a key pathology of follicular lymphoma. That's why in short we can understand this sort of translocation could be underlying cause of many disorders especially in several types of blood cancers. Okay, so here is a quick review. We looked at uh, different translocation. Translocation between 18 and 14 lead to Burkitt lymphoma, semic overproduction happens. 11 and 14 lead to mantle cell lymphoma, cyclin D overactivation happens. Uh, translocation between 11 and 18 lead to marginal zone lymphoma. 14 and 18 lead to follicular lymphoma where BCL2 overactivation happens and translocation between 9 and 22 the Philadelphia chromosome lead to chronic myelogenous leukemia where ABL overproduction happens. So I hope this video was useful and informative. If you like this video give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like share and subscribe. See you in the next video.